folks, Dre Aaron here, uh, back with another first look this morning. Let me just get it up on the screen. <clears throat> right, yeah, we're going to have a look at this today. Um, it's called Eternal Threads. Um, came out last year, actually, 19th of May, 2022. Uh, it looks like it's a story which is a single player first person story driven puzzle game with time manipulation, choice and consequences. Uh, we're just going to do a first look today and if, if it's good we will add it to our Wednesday list of games to play. Uh, it's developed by Cosmonaut Studios, uh, published by Secret Mode. So I felt like I was going to sneeze. Right, um, I probably will soon. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the publisher and Press Engine for the game key. Much appreciated. As usual, I don't... this. <laughs> as usual, this won't affect anything I say in this video. Um, because those thoughts are mine and mine alone. And that's not what I usually say. Because it went out of my head. But never mind. You get the gist of it. Um, yeah, so we're going to play this. Here we go. A whirl. Let me hit the play button. Yeah, another Unity game. Oh no, I haven't got my coffee. I'll grab my coffee quick. Very disorganised this morning. I had to take Barn out into the garden and I've just newly gotten back in. So it was a bit of a rush. Last minute. As the particles travelled back through time, they altered countless seemingly insignificant decisions throughout history. But where causality is concerned, nothing is insignificant. The result is the radioactive nightmare of a world that lies beyond the protective screens of this facility. If we are to have any hope of restoring the time stream, then we must employ the very cause of the Good morning, Lisa. Time travel. But we must be very cautious. For the risks of direct interference are potentially greater than what we have already faced. We must surgically alter the past, correcting the decisions that were corrupted and leave it to the butterfly effect to restore the future. This is not an easy task, as many, many events were changed. And if we succeed completely, then we may wipe ourselves out of existence. But if I'm doing fine, thank you, Lisa. I hope you are as well. Is a price worth paying. I'll give you a shout out in a second. There we go. Open some of them. Right, yeah, we're going to give this a go. Let me just check the settings here, because I haven't been into the game at all. Oh shit, no. Um, let's go up to the highest it's got, whatever that is. Um, that looks okay, I guess. Right. Pre-roll adverts. Uh, right, okay, new game. So we've got um, normal mode and we've got a bridge, a quicker, an easier, quicker to play version with a reduced number of events and decisions. It'll be impossible to fully explore the heights, learn all the secrets to achieve the best ending. Or normal mode. Let us go with normal mode, 197 events and 54 decisions. <clears throat> okay. Auto save as usual. Obviously meant for controller it looks like. Good morning super. <clears throat> How are you today? Good. Well, 
Well, okay, let's uh, let's find you a real mission then. Hmm. It's very quiet, isn't it? Turn the volume up. That's not too difficult. It's one location. It's half past one in the morning. You can't sleep, so you thought you'd hang out with us. That's very good. Could be worse for not not being able to sleep, but it's good that you're here. Okay. To fix this timeline, all six subjects must be saved, and you are only authorized to alter the decisions they made in the week before they died. Change the right set of decisions, and you save them all. So, let's find somewhere to drop you with no witnesses. Busy. God, busy always happens to me. Wait, ah, oh, wait, okay, we got something, 43. It's a few hours afterwards, it looks clean. This sort of reminds me a bit on the Twelve Monkeys film. Don't worry, I'll send some lights. Let's get you when and where you need to be. Initiating crossover sequence. Temporal crossover in five seconds. I'll see you on the other side, 43. <laughs> Three, yeah. Two, one. It, it was very warm last night, wasn't it? Temporal crossover complete. I usually keep our bed and curtains shut. Um, during the day just to keep the heat down. Light drones crossover complete. Ah, still in one piece, 43. Good. Good, right, okay, let's get you set up. Activate your visualizer. Your visualizer. Oh, we're in England somewhere. Oh, it looks like is it Cumbria? I, I'm not Location, sure. Location, Alderbeck, UK. Temporal reference, 4.03 a.m. 20th of May, 2015. Perfect. Now you'll probably need some boosters, okay? Your system will be checking now. Please place first signal booster at location indicated on visualizer. Uh, what did I say, huh? Okay, there. 43. You just need to head towards that little white dot on your visualizer. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Can I just set... The, the volume is very low. It's up at max. I don't know if, if the volume's okay for you guys. I've It's not still not very high on our, my meters here. And I don't want to turn up too high in case we get any shock noises. <laughs> just to wake everybody up. But we're going in here. Over there. Oh look, it's a typical day over here. Pouring with rain. Is that not it? Yeah. So we've travelled back in time basically. Please place second signal booster. I'm just going to lower it ever so slightly again. There we go. Oh, I don't like the artwork. Never mind. Um, I have a spare key for this, which I've I will add into the giveaway on Sunday. Must be in this room. Uh, no lax one yesterday. I've got a. I've added a new channel onto my Discord, which shows all the previous winners. Try and keep that up to date. Please 
Please place final signal booster. Where? This way somewhere. Right, fuck through this way. This place. If the target of the visualizer is located on a different floor, the white dot will be placed by an arrow. Yeah, okay. We get we get that. So it's upstairs. What's that thing? Oh, is that him watching me and this little camera? Maybe. Um, you tend to take naps and sleep because they suffer insomnia, so normally I only get two to four hours of sleep. It's, yeah, it's, it catches up on you if you can't get proper sleep, doesn't it? Luna usually wakes me up about midnight, wanting to go outside, so I have to come down later. Right. Bright lights. Scan complete. Corruption detected. Six erroneous fatalities confirmed. Yeah, that's why I turned away from it quick. Determined. Location transfer to visualizer. There wasn't any warning about that at the start of the game, either. System is locked in. Good, good, good. Okay, go follow the target on your visualizer, and we can see how the story currently ends. Oh yeah, look, there was a fire here. Look. Right, so we've got a fireman coming. Two firemen. There we go. Conclusion event. Okay, so I can hit play and look and look back to see what happened here. There's probably people stuck upstairs, I reckon. Do not cross. This is sort of a, it's a choices matter. It says it's a puzzle game. All six should have survived, but time is being corrupted and now they are very, very dead. Stopping the fire would fix all of this, of course, 43, but forecasting is saying this has major repercussions further down the timeline. Good morning, Nop, sir. You are using a scalpel instead of swinging a axe. Analyzing timeline. Evaluating events. Time map available. Ah, good, okay. Fortress mode Open or up your time map. Mode. I will talk you through it. This is like my first. I'm not sure, Napsar. It's like a puzzle choices game. We have to look, go back in time, time and try and fix events. Yes, the end of the time map. 43. But I'm. The large hex so is the conclusion. I'm gonna event. continue doing this. I and think. you can return here and watch it at any still time. Still, I would say. Small hexagons are the final events for still each I would of say the subjects. Mode. Because if you I change someone's more, fate, then both like the final event and, and, and manage. the conclusion event will change. The white events are all part of the current timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently be watched. If you change a decision which alters the timeline, some yes, of the state from one to the other. Once you have watched a decision, 43, it will appear on the map as a diamond, so it is easier to find it again later. The portraits at the top will show you who is in each event as well as whether they are alive or dead on the current timeline, 43. <laughs> and this is the earliest event on the timeline. Like the rest... I, I, I do actually have Tumbleweed. Because it has yeah. not yet been watched. While only you can choose any event in any order, 43, 
Let's just start here for now. Select this event, and I'll check everything is working as it should. Do you understand? Okay, so we're on the event number one in Tom's room. What has Tom been up to? Good, we're ready. Let's go. Day right. one, Wednesday, 0800. Location, Tom's room. Where is Tom's room? This is Tom's room. It's a bit of a... He hasn't made his bed. Look. He should have made it. He must have known we were coming. Right, he's on his phone. Let's play back events. I mean, yeah, he's, he's looking better. Aren't you, Frank? Aren't you, Frankie? No. It's not as often. But he's... He's still pulling out his feathers every now and then. Who's he talking to? Yeah. I talked to the vets. They want to keep him overnight. I just... I just don't know if that will... cause more stress, you know? Yeah, we've got a sick bird, so we've got to make a decision. This is fortunate. You should try and change it, okay? So we can make sure everything is working properly. Yes? Well, we should book a vet appointment for Frank, I think. Let's go for that. I'm going to move my camera to the other side, actually. <laughs> Everything seems to be on this side. Pro potential corruption point, yeah, or no? you're right. They had an appointment for next Tuesday, so I'll book it for them. So, sorry. That's, that's the door. I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, bye. We're going to follow you and see who's at the door. Oh no, he disappeared. 43, the birdcage is gone. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. This means your visualizer is working properly and you're fully able to change the timeline. And as a bonus. The only birdie also gets to live too. <laughs> oh yeah, we saved the birdie. Anyway, probably best to head back to the time map and select another event. Yes? Probably. Oh, the birdie's not listed up at the top. We, we, we've won already because we've, we've saved the bird. Uh, left mouse button will empty over the map and then drag. Okay. So we've we've saved the birdie. Let's go to event number. Can we... Good morning, Enoch. How are you today? Let's go to here. I mean, we could. When was the birdie appointment? It was for later. It was so it was the fall. It was the Monday, wasn't it? So you could actually skip on probably to the Monday and find out if the birdie was okay. I'm guessing. There's Monday. Let's let's just skip on. Let's ooh, let's skip to the. Let's just go to event number two. Event number two. View event. There we go. Day one, Wednesday, eight o one. Location hall. It's not a great day. You woke up at 3 a.m. with a fever. Oh, that's not so good. Yeah, hopefully you feel better soon. Maybe take something to keep your temperature down. Right, we need to go out right here somewhere. Who's this? Oh no, they're hugging. Oh, that's the that's Frank's owner again. This is Neil. Oh, this was who was this who was at the door? Hiya, you must be Linda. Come in. Ah, oh, thanks. Hiya. Hi. Well, it's good to see you. 
Oh, and you. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, this is Tom. He's the landlord. Don't know what I would have done without you. Uh, look, I've just got a spare room. That's not all your stuff, is it? Oh, no, there's more in the car. Keys? Right, back in a minute. Okay. So, uh, how about a quick tour? Lead on. Just left our bag. Oh, where did they go? Crossing the threshold. And where did they go? Oh, right. So is that what that's just called? Yeah, okay, that's it playing again. Okay, so he's saved that now. Right. Go back here. Is that what it's called? Linda arrived at the house and met up with her brother Neil and was introduced to Tom. So that was like a minute later. So what happens? What happens here then? This is Ben Ben and Jerry's. Jenny's, sorry. Ben and Jenny. <laughs> Not Jerry. Linda and Tom. Okay, so she's they're away to meet Jenny. Um, I wanted to know about Frank, the bird. Can I skip straight to a day? I can't. Look. That's Ben. That's Ra Rachel. Linda. Jenny. Jenny and Linda. Neil and Linda. There's Tom and Linda. Is, is she going to ask about the birdie? That's in the dining room. No, don't eat Frank. Tom and Ben. We've got a lot about Tom. When would you have picked up the, the birdie? Let's go with Linda and Tom. I just want to see what happens here. I want to see if... No. No, that was the wrong thing. Which one was it? <gasps> Where's... There. F. I want to see what happens. Monday, 1246. Location, kitchen. Let's go find the kitchen. Why is he staring at our bum? Has the birdie flown under the fridge or something? What is she doing? Are you okay down there? Uh, yeah. I just... What have you lost? Wedding ring. Took it off to do the dishes, then knocked it off the top and it rolled under here. Okay, I think I see it. Hold on a second. Almost. Almost. Got it. You got it? Yeah. He just said he got it. Oh, we should probably stand up now. Okay. I was on my knees. About to give you a ring? <laughs> yeah, that is a bit fast, even for me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. No problem. Okay, he's not mentioning the birdie. Mm. Okay, let's go back to um, where we were. Let's have a look at this one. In the kitchen, again, with all four of them. Day one, Wednesday, 804. Location, kitchen. That's a big kitchen. Why have they got. It looked like a projector screen, but I guess it's just blinds. <laughs> and here's the kitchen. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Hi. this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> That's us. We're just so sweet, aren't we, honey? Ah, oh, we certainly are. Though, I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume? Oh, the uniform. Well, that, along with your excellent bedside manner with the young lady in pyjamas. Oh, she called me young. She can stay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't. See you tonight. See ya. And I guess I'll see the two of you later as well. Yeah, take it easy, mate. See ya. Right, time to see all of them. 
not my sort of game really, I don't know, it's um... Yeah, I don't have a kitchen cinema, no. There'd, there'd be, there'd be... Ketchup all over the screen, you know that sort of thing. Can you imagine me watching a film while trying to cook and cut things at the same time? <laughs> I sometimes have my phone sitting there watching somebody on Twitch, but uh, I'm usually just listening. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump on because it's a bit slow there, isn't it? Let's go on to like th let's go to here. See what Linda's doing in her bedroom at this time of the day. Yeah, like you trying to carve while watching the stream. Protect protectors are not suitable for the kitchen. There are places in the bathroom. Ah. Day seven, Tuesday. Oh, eight thirty. Location: bathroom. Bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Is this the bathroom? Oh, that's the, that's the cellar. Oh, we can go down in the cellar. I'm going to have a look down in the cellar. <gasps> What's that? There's been a crime here, look. Somebody's phone. And some blood. Is that you, Baron Meowin? They've got a cinema downstairs, look. It's not in their bathroom, though. There's the projector. I wonder what happened here. That's an evidence marker. Let's go find out what happened in the bath in the bedroom. Where's our bedroom? Down oh it is downstairs. The bathroom is downstairs. You cut yourself four times before you gave up the other night. <laughs> Not so good. Oh, aye. It's upstairs. Where where on earth is this bathroom? Must be upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs, okay. And it's up this way, is it? Yeah, the railing's bent. Oh look, more evidence markers. There's been a lot going on in this place up um, in the previous week, wasn't there? Oh, markers are everywhere. He needs a better torch, this guy. He's from the future, he should have a better torch. Aha! Where is she? Yeah. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Hmm. Oh. Uh, hmm. She's reflecting. Okay. They need to clean their shower. Oh, and definitely the bath. That's neat. Oh, and look at the state of the toilet. That's just disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I I actually have a spare key for it, Eunuch. Uh, I'm going to add it into the giveaway on Sunday, uh, for Sunday onwards. I'm just going to pick pick a pick a time and place at random. Neil's room. Let's have a look here. Oh, we're in the bathroom again, are we? No. No, of course I hit the wrong thing, didn't I? F. I need to press F. <gasps> Why can't I do that one? Oh, I can't do that for some reason. 
weird. Let's try Sunday. Or I can do this. Day five, Sunday, oh nine hundred. Location, kitchen. Yeah, I found the shift. You didn't tell me about the shift. I just pressed it just now. There we go. Morning. Morning. Been shopping? Yeah. I woke up early and I guess the old caveman instincts kicked in. Oh, so hunting mama for breakfast then? Nah. They were all out. Scrambled eggs. Oh. That's a bit disappointed. For you, maybe, but the Jenny's favourite. So, this job then? Yeah. Have you told her yet? If you watch a decision, a button will appear next to your device. Press this and this button will pause the event. <laughs> Excuse me. Allow you to select the outcome without having to wait until the decision point. If you change the decision, the event will jump forward to the decision point and then continue onwards. Um, what would you do? No. Are you gonna? Um, I don't know. I mean, what would you do? What? Do you want my advice? First time for everything, right? <laughs> well, I think... I think you need to decide what you're going to do first, before you mention anything. Okay, and what would you do about the job? Look, mate, the job's a great thing to run away to if your life's a mess. But for you, it's a great big stick of dynamite that'll blow up your life, and God knows where the pieces will end up. So, don't light the dynamite unless I'm sure? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just sort of that um, East End accent, I think, super. I don't, I don't know. I don't know much of Chris, Christopher Eccleston's work. I, know, I mean, I did see him in Doctor Who briefly, but... Um... <laughs> um, right. So he's trying to get a new job. So we've got a decision route here. View change. That's what we did. Let's have, let's go to Ben and Jerry's and see if he actually told her. Day five. Jenny, Sunday, not Jerry's. <laughs> I keep saying Jerry. Ben and Jenny's room. Ben and Jenny's room. I assume it's upstairs. It's in here. There we go. Where are they? Oh. Hiya. Oh, special breakfast. Well, it was meant to be special breakfast in bed, but you're not, you know, in bed anymore. Ah, oh, we can fix that. There. Where were you? Bathroom. And then you weren't here, so I went and had a chat with Raquel. Oh, any juicy gossip? Nah, not really. Any reason for this bountiful feast in front of us? Job offer. <laughs> Maybe I, I don't know. What is it? Well, um, I got this job offer, but I don't think I'm going to take it. Oh, why not? Well, it's not really local. Yeah, but you're almost qualified, and I'm almost finished uni. It's so. not in this country. Oh, France, Switzerland, America. I don't really know. He doesn't know. Why doesn't he know? It's one of those medical relief places. Sending doctors to poor countries, uh, disaster areas. Uh, war zones? Yeah. When did you apply? It was a drunken dare from ages ago. I haven't thought about it since the hangover. I'm, I mean, I thought it was a wind-up when the letter arrived, but... It's not. How long's it for? Nine to twelve months. Do you want to do it? No, oh, don't, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Not now I'm sober anyway. I mean, I think I like the idea of it, but the more I think about it, the more it seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> so you're not 
planning on leaving me then? No. Good. Because you'd be wearing this breakfast for a start. So all, right, all these, this is uh, the house after everything's happened. So this, is, that's why there's all these things on the floor. Are we looking here? Oh, we can look in here. What's that? Hmm. Found it. Found a key. That looks like a room key. Forty-three. Why she got a room key in there? Is it for this room? She got somebody else's key, so she can sneak in. Whose room is this? Oh. Good. Good for you, Sweet Arcade. Now you can watch any events that took place in here. So whose room is this? This is the painter's room. So was she having a fling with the painter? Oh. Who? I wonder whose room this is. Neil and Linda. So it has to be Jenny and somebody else. So I'm just going to flick along. Can I not do that? It's not Ben and Jenny. Can we not see Ben? Can we not see Jenny and somebody else? Jenny, Jenny and Raquel. No, Raquel. The coop. Let's, I'm going to. I'm going to see what this one's. Can I do this one? I can do this. Day one. five, Sunday, nineteen oh four. So why has she got a Raquel's room? She's got a key to Raquel's room. Hi. Hey, what's up? Can I borrow a camera? What's wrong with the one on your phone? It's digital. Doesn't seem to work. I want to try film. Okay. What are you doing? You won't laugh. Cross my heart. I've had weird dreams. Strange feelings. Deja vu. I, and I've been seeing things in the corner of my eye. But when I look, there's nothing there. Sounds like a typical Sunday morning to me. And the camera? Well, okay. I was looking on the internet uh -oh. and read about capturing ghosts and things on film. Right. Was this next to the royal family of lizard people? No. <laughs> I just thought I'd test this one out, scientifically. Well, I've been on the internet as well. Uh-oh. Touché. I was on the NHS website and then some medical papers. Hmm. Huh. And they said that certain hormonal changes... Okay. Oh. Oh. Right. Well, it can cause some drugs to stop working. Okay. Drugs like the one you've been on since you were nine? Oh, fuck. Yeah. So, do you still want that camera? What? So what? I wonder what drugs she's been on since she was nine, then. No. No point. Occam's razor, right? It's all in my head. I'm sorry. Don't be. Now I know what it is, I can deal with it. Or at least ignore it till my doctor's appointment. You need anything, I'm here for you. I know. You're always there for me. Could it be that young Jenny can actually sense things outside of her normal time frame? Who knows? Interesting. <laughs> what an ugly little doll. I can read everything on here. Right. I can transcribe. Need to know exactly how many pieces you'll be exhibited on Friday. Eight pieces. This is a professor, okay. Okay, so that's nothing really important. Can't look in the drawer. We hope this helps you remember how beautiful our beautiful daughter love Pamela and James. If 
fragrance test. Nothing else. Village in shock. Girl 7 killed in road accident. Uh, witnesses report seeing the grey car driving erratically. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Photography 101. <laughs> Can we go in here? Yeah. Emily. Okay, so Neil was drunk. <laughs> he, he upset um, Emily. Dearest Neil, I love it's your mum. Okay. What else we got here? I've got a photo. It's an album. Are you hiding anything in your wardrobe? No. Oh, he's got a game controller. <laughs> but... Oh no, there was a console there. I never noticed the console to start with. He... Okay, so we can go... We can check out later events. Uh, I'm just sort of skipping about here. Just let's see what Linda's up to. Day five, Sunday, seventeen hundred hours. Location, Hall. What's with the big bell chimes? What's oh, you? That was very loud. Everybody awake? <laughs> that was very loud. Right, here's Linda. What's Linda doing? Oh, who's she talking to? It didn't say anything about anybody else being here. Harry. Who's Harry? Oh. Good morning, Dr. Crew. Hi, Harry. Hello. I think he's almost ready. Who's almost ready? I'll go call him. Uh, actually, can we talk first? Uh, can we talk later? Yeah, let's talk. Um, okay. Let's go in the living room. Right. And we are the champion. <laughs> we have to follow them into the living room. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I've lost them. Uh. Husband at. Okay, so she's. The hut. They've split up. Yeah. The husband is. That's the electrical board. The husband's come to pick up the kid or something, it sounds like. Can we look at the next bit? Where they're talking. Day 5, Sunday, 17.02. Location, living room. I want to know when you're coming home. I... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I'm still trying to work some things out in my head. Like what? Look, Kieran needs you. He's actually jam butties at school and chippy teas all last week. God knows where his pee kit is. It's under the stairs where it's always been. The house is falling apart, Linda. You know, I can't work that washing machine. And the neighbours keep asking when you're going to be back and how your mum is. Why? What well, did you, you need tell to learn things. She was things. sick and you were looking after her. Well, maybe you shouldn't lie to the neighbours then. And when you go around to apologise, maybe you can ask them to teach you how to do some shopping and use a washing machine. It doesn't sound very useful, Kieran, does it? your dad's here! Coming! Okay, so there... She's unhappy there. Or a camera... What else can we do? Let's let's see what um I'm suspicious of Linda. <laughs> We're just gonna watch Linda. On the landing. Let's head up to the landing. Morning. 
morning, Neil. Uh, morning. Uh, do you know what time it is, Linda? Yeah, sure. It's half ten. Oh, shit. I'm bloody late. You want a lift? Is that okay? It's fine with me. Go get dressed. I'll get the car started. You are bloody brilliant, you are. The husband's going to get jealous if he sees another bloke in our car. I would have said white rabbit. What's it mean by white rabbit? Here's Neil and Linda again in the oh in the basement. Right, let's go down. Oh, I can't go there. Why can't I go there? <laughs> Why can't I go to that bit? I can't go that far. Can I not go that far ahead or something? Let's see what Ben and Jerry's. No, I can't go there either. Day six, Monday, oh nine, oh three. Location, kitchen. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's chamomile tea. Yeah, Ben and Jerry's. I keep saying that. Takes me back to being a little girl. Say the Ben and Jerry. Used to drink it all the time. She said it had magical healing properties. Oh, and did it? I don't know. Maybe that's what made her able to drink so much gin. I could make you one if you like. Oh, why not? Maybe you can test out those magical properties. What? By seeing if it helps me drink more before I fall over? Why not? For science? But certainly not for my liver. No, probably not. <laughs> Chamomile tea. So I can, I can. There's no tea left. All that bleach on the floor. No water on the tops. Oh, who's this? Our Tom starting this new school. You could pinch those cheeks. So that's the owner of the place. Um, right, wait. Let's have a look at one, one, another place. Oh, what's Ben up to? He's in the living room by himself. Day six, Monday, oh seven fifteen. Location, living room. Hiya, Mum. Hello, love. To what do I owe this pleasure? Oh, nothing really. I've got an hour or so before I start my shift, and I know you're always up at the crack of dawn, so I thought I'd ring up the old homestead. See how the butler was getting on. A cheeky. You <laughs> know we had to let the butler go. He had a terrible habit of stealing policemen's helmets. I thought that was Bertie. It was, dear. Well remembered. Well, they were my bedtime stories. Yes, and very enjoyable they were too. Better than Meg and Mog, anyway. Anyway, so what's new with you, Mum? Oh, not much. Your dad's talking about retiring again. Really? I never thought he'd retire. That's a Sony well, TV remote well, control. Says, well, maybe a year, two. But then he wants to work on his handicap. Okay. Um, what about you? You ready to hang up your stethoscope and spurs as well? Oh, I've got plenty of life left in this old girl yet. Besides, I hate golf. I know. I don't know what he sees in the game. Anyway, I think the thing with your dad's retirement, though, is the practice. Well, can't you just get someone in? Well, he does have someone in mind, actually. Oh, good. Who? It's you. What? Really? Well, that's what he says. So, what do you think? Mm, think about it. Um, well, I don't know really. I, I think. I think I need to think about it. As well you should. And don't worry, there's no pressure. No pressure. That's easy for you to say. Now, trust me, there will be no pressure from me or your father. I'll make sure of that. You just decide on what's best for you. I wonder what the orange meter is at the side of the at the left side of the right. thing. Will do. With the heart. So how's Sarah getting on? 
pump on the way above it. The old homestead. Right, yeah. I presume it's auto saving. Yeah. I'm gonna come out there just now. I was just doing a quick first look today. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the sort of game I would play. It's quite interesting though. I'm quite keen to find out what happened to them. What happened? Why the fire started? Eternal threads. Oh, it does say flashing lights. There we go. Uh, so no, you're an operative tasked with fixing corruption in the times so when you've been sent to the north of England in May 2015, where six people died in the house fire. Uh, prohibited from simply stopping the fire, you must instead manipulate the choices made by the housemates in the week leading up to it so that they survive the event. So you have to change what they're doing in order to stop the fire happening. Uh, so that they actually change the fire. Yeah, it shouldn't matter when you save, yeah. I think you can actually go back and change things that you've made, decisions you've made anyway, if it doesn't work out uh, from the way it sounded. Um, you can approach the story like a forensic detective, observe the final outcomes of the story and then work backwards along the timeline, essentially observing the effects and then determining the cause, or you can watch things in chronological order. Watch and change things as many times as you like, yeah, so you can keep changing things to see what difference it makes later on. An interesting concept of a game. Um, as I say, I have a spare code for this, so I'm going to add that into my giveaway draw list that I have, and um, that'll be there from this coming Sunday onwards. So if you were interested in the game, you could enter the giveaway and, and win a copy. Um, but yeah, that was it. There was a demo available as well. I see MS Paint wants the game. <laughs> he likes that sort of game. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's that one. Uh, I'm on service district today, so I need to get ready on time today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm doing a first look of Dark Quest 3. Which is a dungeon crawler roguelike type game. So I will be doing a first look at that tomorrow. Uh, this is my third Wednesday that I usually take off, so I won't be streaming this Wednesday. Um, but I will be back on the Thursday. Uh, right, let's see if I can find somebody to raid on to. See who's on this morning. Um. I got Nuke, he's playing Go in Medieval. Daemon is playing Cataclysm. Fitzwizard is playing Secret of Mana, uh, which I actually want to see. Um, Deep Zero is playing Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I will raid on to Bitwizard, I think, because I'll be watching him anyway today um, while I'm working. Good morning, Mana. Monoe, how are you today? <laughs> you were lurking. It's your secret, is it? <laughs> uh, let me get my raid messages up. There we go. Right, um, yeah. So, good morning, Breeder. Welcome in. And thank you both for lurking. Um, yeah, so I will be back tomorrow morning. Um, but until then, we shall raid over to Bitwizard and say hello. So until next time, you all take care, be safe, and have a good day. <laughs>